If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so right now the top trending topic, Iowa and New Hampshire. Um, talking about the primaries that are going on. Joe Biden, Trump set for a rematch in 2024. It looks that way. Nothing set in stone, but it looks that way. Trump versus Biden, 2.0. Is that exciting to anybody? No. <laughs> no. Who cares? <laughs> well, I mean, it is exciting the fact that um, our country is either going to go back to being free or it's going to go more toward um, communist rule. But who? I say who cares the, because we already know who's going to c- compete. But we got to sit through all this for another nine months. It's, I, it's over on both sides. We know who it is, so let's get it on. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, I think they're, the Nikki Haley surely will drop out if she doesn't win South Carolina the next primary. Yeah, but she's got a lot of money behind her, like um, bad Republican yeah. money, <clears throat> the ones that aren't conservative. And you know yeah. what? A moderate Republican is like a bad cop in a movie put your faith in them and you put your trust in them and when you need them the most they stab you in the back yeah. <laughs> and she's we all know she's not gonna win it doesn't mm-hmm. look that way no uh then margo and greta are trending because uh, margo robbie was snubbed at the oscars as was the director of barbie greta gerwig um although barbie was nominated for best picture but uh greta did not get her directorial nomination nor did margo robbie get a uh, nomination for Best Actress. However, Ryan Gosling did as Best Supporting Actor. Mm. So a lot of people are saying it's a man's world, and this is just more proof of it. Yeah, and uh, I still stand by my statement earlier that if Ryan Gosling is any kind of man, he will turn down his nomination in protest of the fact that his uh, his fellow filmmakers were not included. <laughs> Do it for Greta and um, for Margo. Argo. Do it for them. Do it for them. And, you know, <laughs> if, if you don't, then it just shows that you're no no better than any of the rest of the misogynists. <laughs> uh, Madonna performed at Madison Square Garden on her tour, and she does this thing during her song Vogue where she brings out a special celebrity guest, and they're clamoring to get on stage with Madonna. Uh, last night was uh, Amy Schumer got on stage, and the Internet hates Amy Schumer. I actually think she's funny. But, like, you can't even say that on the Internet without just being brutally attacked. People can't stand her. And I don't know if right. it's because she's pro-Israel. I think it even got even worse for her. But, God, people are just vicious to Amy Schumer for some reason. Um, people call her a joke stealer a lot because she's stolen bits. Has she really? Really? Well, I she, didn't know that. She's been obnoxious, you know, not about the pro-Israel thing. It's the first thing that um, that I don't think she's obnoxious about. <laughs> um but she had that one funny moment on Ellen that re- really yeah. launched her years ago. Yeah. And um, since then, she's just been, eh. Not a big fan. I do think she can be she can be very funny. At that. I think she's That's hysterical. Yeah. Uh, today's National Peanut Butter Day, so if you like crunchy, if you like creamy, everybody can get together and celebrate uh, the same thing today. Uh, but the reason why uh, Janet is trending, that's a reference to Janet Jackson. So on May 4th, of this year, Usher is gonna host his Lovers and Friends Music Festival. And the artist lineup for this is insane. I can't even get through them all, but I'll just give you like a smatter. So first of all, it's Usher, he's gonna be performing Confessions, the album in its entirety, which is gonna be amazing. Backstreet Boys, Janet Jackson, Lil Wayne performing The Carter Three in its entirety, Snoop Dogg, Alicia Keys, Nas, Ludacris, Nelly, Akon, Neo, Timbaland, Keisha Cole, T-Pain, Ashanti, Ja Rule, Mary J. Blige, uh, Gwen Stefani, Nelly Furtado, Sierra, TLC, uh, and pretty much every, Sean Paul, Paul Wall, Fat Joe, Jeezy, Rick Ross, Red Man, Meth Man, Akon, Neo, I mean, it's Kelly Rowland. That's gonna it's be an in awesome one day. festival. Oh, so that's a one day festival? I didn't realize that until Rob goes, is this the one day festival? I said, no, I don't think so, because there's too many people. So I'm assuming they're gonna have multiple stages they have set up. To. Yeah, there's no way. They can. Yeah, they got because probably three stages. That. They'll just go that's from one crazy. to the other. We're gonna go from 8 a.m. <laughs> until midnight. It's in Atlanta? <laughs> it's in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, okay. Yeah, so TLC, uh, I mean, I could just go on and on and on. Pretty Ricky coming out. Oh, I Genuine, love me some Pretty Ricky. Juvenile, <laughs> Plies, Mims. <laughs> Jaquan. Jaquan. That is going to be Too short, a Mario, lit. JoJo. I mean, it's insane. Think about it, though. On the upside, because everything's tracked, they don't have to do a lot of set changes or anything. Yeah. Uh, say Lil Wayne does the Carter 3. What's that? 50 minutes? 
that might be all he does. Yeah. Then he bails. Yeah, and I think then, that's and, exactly what it's. So that's be. what it is. So you're going to get thirty minutes of each one of these people, and as soon as they finish, the next one can start because they yeah. just because it's all tracked and ready to go. I think this is going to be a great show. I yeah, mean, and the Backstreet like, Boys like, is also day. you know it's a pop hip hop early two thousands late nineties uh, fun music. So yeah. uh, those are just a few things that are now trending. Uh, you know, since I've uh, started living my life by uh, the Zodiac, I mean, things have improved so much with me. I'm at peace in so many ways. Um, but uh, there is um, a full moon that, um, that will be rising in a certain way tomorrow night uh, that is going to, I think, affect Alexis the most. One, because she believes in all the crap. And then the other is because it's specifically um, it, it, labeled by her Zodiac sign. Ooh. So we'll get into it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm sure your sister already knows about all this. Ace, she's into, oh. the, into the tarot cards and, of and all of that kind of stuff. But we'll break it down for, uh, for people who are skeptical. Coming up next. Get Ace and TJ anytime, anywhere, at your convenience with the Ace and TJ Show podcast. Available wherever you get podcasts. More Ace and TJ is next. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep when you buy three months supply of calitrin you will get three months free right now and consistency is the key with calitrin so order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss it's calitrin all guests of the ace and tj show stay at the hyatt centric charlotte south park beautiful rooms incredible dining options Book your room by calling 980-299-7123. It's the Hyatt-centric Charlotte South Park. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Attention Charlotte, treat yourself to a delicious meal that's made with fresh, seasonal ingredients and ready in just 20 minutes. Enjoy a fine dining experience without ever leaving your home. Head over to tableandtwine.com. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you, from things to do, to restaurants, to bars, to shopping, to unique weekend activities, and we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it. Now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, I was looking at the Hulu the other day because, you know, I like to do that. I like to look at Hulu. It's my uh, number one source for news. It's not a news site. <laughs> Uh, but they've got a new show on there. It's a series all about the inner workings of the hot sauce world. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it yet because I don't know if I'd like seven episodes about hot sauce. But uh, I think the guy um, that I met with, you know, for the Ace and TJ hot sauce line is featured in this series because he um he has the world's largest collection of hot sauces oh wow like his entire basement is just <laughs> floor to ceiling shelves of hot sauce that he's gotten from around the world well how um, cool is that that's really cool now um if you want hot sauce better than any of those that would be featured on this show coming up then you go to the ace and tj store and get the ace and tj hot sauce there's five of them all delicious and all waiting for you and your kind 
whatever kind that is. Uh, and while you're there, if you're um, if you're you know trying to um, trying to get your taste buds lit on fire or whatever, then make sure you get a, a piece of Ace and TJ merch to be wearing. There's a lady named Samantha that busting all up in her Ace and TJ hat yesterday on this little thing that we did, and uh, she said everybody want to know where she got it. And evidently she didn't tell them because, I mean, we didn't get a big rush on sales all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but we got Ace and TJ hats and hoodies and uh, sweatshirts that are crew neck, T-shirts, all of it, different colors. It's all great. AceTJ.com slash store. Okay. Um, for those of you who um, haven't been, you know, listening or watching us for very long, it was um, – several months ago that uh, I decided that I was going to start mapping my life around my zodiac sign, my astrological sign, because that seems to be so popular now. That and and crystals and, you know, sound bowls and Reiki and all of that kind of stuff. And I didn't know anything about that whole world until my friend Alexis introduced me to it here, sharing one with another on the show but um the first full moon of 2024 is rising and the time is nigh for howling and healing because tomorrow it says at uh, 1254 the full wolf moon will peak it's not just a wolf moon. It's a full wolf moon in Leo. Ooh. And that is Alexis's sign is the Leo, isn't it? It is. So the lion Whoa. will be under a wolf moon. Yes. Now. I don't know what that means. Well, it goes into the, the uh, what they call tarot cards. Yeah. And um, uh, the universal tarot card for this year is strength in the ruling card of Leo. So what I'm guessing is, is if you're a Leo like Alexis, then tomorrow you need to go howl at the moon. I'll do, I'll do it. <laughs> you act like it's the first time I've done that before. <laughs> howl. howl at the moon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You howl at the moon. Just howl at the moon sometimes. Right. Yeah. But are you uh, in your right mind when you do that? Are you of sound mind or are you uh, inebriated in some way or another? Well, that is my sound mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're going to say that's my sign. I'm not as much of a Leo as I am an inebriated Leo. <laughs> so what will you do? Do you, I mean, what does this mean to you, Alexis? Um, are, are you still in all that stuff like you were? I am. I just haven't really, I don't have the time to like get into it as much as I used to before. Uh, I have, you know, a few tarot card decks that I bought and I told myself that I was going to teach myself how to do it and all that. I just haven't mm -hmm. had as much time well you know you don't teach yourself how to do that the devil teaches you how to do it <laughs> there you go <laughs> stop you know that right that's not true it's the devil. that you know that's those tarot cards are either fake or um they are being done by someone possessed by the devil that's not true those are the two choices <laughs> well how is it not true that's not you true. know your bible mm-hmm <clears throat> You know There's what? also a, a huge part of the spiritual world that we do not understand. So, and that doesn't necessarily always, mean it's the devil. Yes, it does. No, it does not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you got two choices. It's the Lord or the devil. That's all there is. <laughs> yeah. They both so work simple. in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. So simple. And then, you know, Jesus has the most famous birthday in the world. But he don't run around talking about his astrological sign or anything. Good point, DJ. I've yeah. never heard that come up before. Right. And all moons that rise, rise under Jesus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the moons yeah, you know, that rise, rise, no, rise under Jesus. Under God, because you don't, you don't need wolves out there howling at it, or lions, nor none of that. God raises the moon, and you know what? He puts it back down every day. Yeah, that's right. That sounds like that should be followed with, let me say it one more time for you. Get an amen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i'm so worried i you know i've known ace's sister since she was a uh, you know teenage girl yeah and i'm so worried about her messing with them tarot cards and all that 
stuff that she does, going to them haunted houses and pretending like she's ghost hunting and everything. Mm-mm. What I fear, Brother Ace, is that she's already found the worst ghost there is. And he's found her. The devil? His name's the devil, What's Lucifer. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> the enemy, as they call him in, uh, in moderate non-denominational churches because <laughs> you know they won't say satan or the devil they call Which is the so enemy. weird yeah, it's the enemy the devil lucifer satan yeah, yeah. all of them get them all in there get them all in prince of darkness Preach yeah, yeah. They're, they're, that's who got people out howling at the moon <laughs> this is the ace and tj show all right um I have um, fully determined that a person that we know that's pretty close to this show would be Riggins' dream woman. Oh. If she weren't already married. Oh. But you never know. Okay. Dreams can come true, Brother Riggins. You don't know for (laughs) sure that she's out of reach. But um, yesterday that was confirmed by something that uh, happened to her that would have been embarrassing to a lot of people, but for her... She just blew it off, didn't didn't pay any attention to it. We'll tell you what that is coming up next. Miss part of the show? Just download it. Get the Ace and TJ podcast on any platform. More of the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show is coming up. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato companies. We worked with Richard for years and you know all the ins and outs and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right, we have a lot of options. You know, this one lady, we just refinanced her house paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re- she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month. So that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out is what we call it in the business. Cash, cash out. out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five-minute phone call right now, 704-800-4719, 704-800-4719, or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Ducato Companies. Should you buy? Should you sell? How do I present my house if I do want to sell it? All of those questions can be answered by the experts, and they can take care of you with the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. The Temple Team knows everything there is to know about selling, marketing, and buying houses. So get in touch with them today at acetj.com slash Temple Team. The Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. Bradham Brothers offers heating, air, and electrical installation and service that you can trust. Their family business has served thousands of customers with honesty and a smile for over 50 years. Go to bradhambrothers.com to schedule service or a free estimate today. New year, new you. Kickstart your journey to a healthier lifestyle by joining the Gaston County Family YMCA today. Family-friendly fun, expert trainers, and a welcoming community await. Make 2024 your healthiest year yet. Visit gastonymca.org for more info. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at eight tj.com slash culvers on your phone on your radio in your car on your ipad on your computer and on the ace and tj family app anytime anywhere for your entertainment this is the ace and tj podcast and radio show Mm, mm, mm. um one of our biggest supporters, our biggest um, sponsors on the Ace and TJ show uh, is the product called Calitrin. And Calitrin actually is uh, is the sponsor of our studio. You know, it's the Ace and TJ Calitrin Studios. Um, and from time to time, we will get on a Zoom kind of thing and uh, record commercials with um, Elizabeth from Calatron. She's, uh, she's uh, like, I think 
on on location as the, she's the the biggest boss there. She doesn't like to say that kind of stuff though, because she's humble and sweet. Uh, so we have to do these um, these videos together, and then they get played on our YouTube channel and all of that. Well, Elizabeth is really pretty, and um, Riggins, you think she's super pretty? Uh, yeah, she's hot. And I, I mean, she um, it, the Calitrin is a weight loss supplement; it's not a drug, but uh, a supplement. And she always talks about how she lost forty pounds using. Calitrin. But I think you could put a hundred pounds on her and she'd still be yeah. pretty and cool. Just naturally pretty mm -hmm. hot. Yeah. I would say. So Riggins, yesterday something happened and I thought, you know what? I bet Riggins would absolutely love that. Because you don't go in for all of the fake and and um over the top high maintenance kind of kind of woman. Yeah. You like more of a regular woman who's cool and, and can hang out and stuff like that. Uh, so when we started to do the video yesterday, she said, hold on, guys. She's talking to Rob and me. Hold on. Um, I got a nosebleed. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. So <laughs> That's bad. She said, "This is I've, I've never had a nosebleed in my life. This is the third one I've had in two days, and it just oh. started. So y'all got to give me a minute. And so she sits there. How long, Rob? About 10 minutes? About 10, yeah. Yeah, trying to get her nose to stop bleeding. And at one point, she takes the uh, the tissue and just sticks it in her nose and has the big tissue hanging out of her nose while she's getting her notes together and stuff. And I said, Rob, screen cap that. We're going to use it later. And she goes, oh, y'all you know, aren't going to do me like that, are you? But she never she never said anything. But, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, that's cool. Like, I need to reschedule this. Because I even said, do you want to try to do it tomorrow? And she goes, no, it's slowing down a little bit, but I think I can I can get it you know get it to stop so we can record that's cool mm -hmm. yeah not that she's had three nosebleeds in two know. days but yeah that's a yeah. lot but she's mm -hmm. like cool to, you know she's not putting on airs for anybody I like that right she's from kentucky but, or something isn't she tennessee tennessee yeah. yeah like she's not phased by that i no. guess now does she get more credit for being cool like that because she is pretty yes of course <laughs> <laughs> zero hesitation <laughs> of yeah. course yeah. as it should be <laughs> why as it should be uh, cause it's just one more feather in the cap. Like y you don't expect a lot from people that are that good looking, but the fact mm -hmm. that she's also cool, you expect her to be like kind of a snot, but she's not, she's actually very yeah. cool. And she can get a nosebleed in front of you and be like, all right, give me 10 minutes. I'll be right. <laughs> but because, I love that. Because yeah. she's attractive and very cool. She gets more credit. For yeah, absolutely. Cool. And okay. I've always said that you, you talk to somebody who is referring to a pretty person or a good looking person that has been really nice to them. They get extra credit for being the same amount of nice as an unattractive person hmm. because you don't expect because people think, oh, well, he's so good looking. I bet he's full of himself or yeah. where they have these expectations. And then, you know, when he when he is nice then you're like, and you know, what? hey, he's super nice. What a guy. Yeah. What a great guy. That's why people are so bowled over by David Beckham. He's like not only one of the best looking people ever, but he's also this incredible athlete and he's kind of funny. Like people yeah, are like, oh, yeah. my God, you really got a full deck of, you know, cards Seems there. to be very nice mm -hmm. to yeah. people, dude. So, yeah. yeah, we should give them more credit. It's but amazing. He, he, <laughs> can't, he can't be nice, though. I don't think he's really nice. You don't think so? No. Because he's British? Well, British, and he's got tattoos. <laughs> and, and he plays one. soccer? Yeah, tattoo people are not Stop. nice. Stop. That's not true. No tattoo people can be kind? <laughs> no. PJ? Okay. No, they're all bikers and prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a radio show, it's a podcast, and it's a TV show. TV show. Watch the Ace and TJ show anytime. Just search for Ace TJ TV on YouTube. More of the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show is coming up. It's a new year, which means new you. No, not if you've got nagging pain. That means we won't old you. Old you before you had that pain. And it's possible without surgery, without medication, without downtime. Thanks to Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. I am a Neogenics client. I am a Neogenics lover because they fixed my left wrist. And you can get a free consultation right now. Call 704-727-6551 or online at acetj.com slash Neogenics, N-E-O-G-N-I-X. 
Great food, great drinks, great service, and great atmosphere. You can find them all at one place. Fahrenheit on South Caldwell in Uptown Charlotte, 21 stories above the city. Get details and make reservations at acetj.com slash Fahrenheit. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. When you need furniture for your house, it can be overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. That's why... The great team of designers they have at Sweet Dreams Mattress and Furniture can help you throughout the process. Whether you're looking for a comfortable mattress, probably the most comfortable you've ever been on, bedroom furniture, living room furniture, it is all fantastic at Sweet Dreams Mattress and Furniture, and that family-owned and operated business can help you like no other. Go to acetj.com slash mattress to check them out. acetj.com slash mattress for Sweet Dreams Mattress and Furniture. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Miss any part of today's show? Catch up anytime on the Ace and TJ Family app or wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Make sure you got that app, the Ace and TJ Family app. And, uh, you're going, well, if people are listening to you um, in your podcast and stuff, don't they have to have the app? Yeah. But uh, there's an old app and a new app. The new app is the one, if you've got the old app, switch over to the new one. It's a, um, you know, it's a completely different model. Because it works. Yeah. (laughs) You know know what? We should try to build an app, improve upon the one that we have. Let's build one that works. So we've done that. Um, There's a story, and I hate to seem like I'm always... uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Grumpopotamus, grouchy, contrary. But uh, firefighters in Wisconsin delivered a baby in a McDonald's parking lot during a snowstorm the other day. Um, the the baby's fine, mom's fine, it's great. You know, hero story. Um, the kid's name is Micah. Good biblical name, Micah. But uh, parents are calling him McFlurry. <laughs> now, I love that, <laughs> but I, I, I think that's cute. But couldn't you come up with a better McDonald's themed name than McFlurry? How about McMica? Would have yeah. been a good yeah. little nickname for him. But you just like uh, McFlurry. Oh, he looks like a McFlurry. Yeah. What other items? Just if you're going to go with a menu item, it would be better for a little boy's name. McNuggy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> McNugget would be a good one. Yeah. But he said, but it was born during. Yeah. He was born during a snowstorm, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. probably why they said McFlurry. Like it's both McDonald's and snowstorm. Yeah, that's but it cute. wasn't. But a flurry's not a storm. It's called Big Mac. Yeah, it's Big Mac is a good one. Yeah, just but Big there Micah. There are a lot of people that they would call Big Mac though, right? Yeah. Big Micah. Yeah. I still think McMicah is the Micah's the one good. to go with there. It's certainly that's better than McFlurry. That's stupid. <laughs> Rob, you see, Rob is the grouchy one, not not yeah. I. You might, you might be right. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's, it's, I, as nicknames go, it's a pretty good little nickname, McMichael. I think. See, I don't think McFlurry. McFlurry. It's too, that's too many syllables. Mm. Two. And it's kind of feminine sounding, I think, for a boy. McFlurry. Does it also sound feminine to call it, to call it like McNuggets too, or just just McFlurry? Which is what? What's the question? Like, nuggets? Because it sounds. I, it seems like you're saying that if you add the M, the Mick to it, is what it makes it sound, sound feminine. No. Okay, that's what I no. thought. Never mind then. <laughs> you don't know. No, what the flurry about. things yeah. that end with a Y sound like that are like you know usually not like, good boy nicknames. Right. Like mm-hmm. women are the ones who started calling rabbits bunnies. Mm. You know. So okay. Yeah, so something strong like Hamburglar. Call him Hamburglar. Yeah, the Grimace. <laughs> yeah, I thought the Grimace. Yeah, Hamburglar good might one. be good. Yeah. <clears throat> or Ronald. They could have just full on named him Ronald. Yeah. But if you're going for a nickname, uh, you know, you could have called him Quarter Pounder or QP. <laughs> QP. That's kind of cute. You know, something like that. Uh, <laughs> if he's a big kid, you could have called him you know, 
Double quarter pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Dub Chi. Dub Chi. Hey, that's our little Dub Chi. Maybe he was thin. You could call him McRib. There you go. McRib. See? So There's so see many better ones. Yeah. Poking through. It's McRib. like, look at little McRib. Mm-hmm. They should have gotten in touch with us first. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I have actually, uh, I like McRib. I'm not mm-hmm. start using that. Was well, that going to be your, your kid's <laughs> No, he's no. way too big to be no, McRib. he'd be double Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's, That's a chunk of bunk, kid. He's a DJ show. <laughs> he's cute. Every- chunky. Uh, now trending coming up next. Live on your radio and anytime you want on the Ace and TJ family app or wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show.